people talk about Liverpool in England and I felt much more comfortable playing for Liverpool the way it actually suited me, the way Liverpool played. Whereas with England at that time, even then, it was about aggression. Yes, you, you know, we had skillful players, but we really got by. No matter who we played against, we never dominated possession, we never outplayed teams, but we were physical, we are strong. And we had, yeah, you know, myself, Chris Waddle. So every now and again, we'd do something, but that's not what England was about back mm. then. So I wasn't able to replicate that or anything close, you know, every time I played for England, because England wasn't that type of a team. Whereas when I played for Liverpool, you know, every week, that is the way we actually played. So I understand completely when the fans said he did better for Liverpool than he did for England. But the reason was because I felt much more comfortable. And, and I always talk about Darius Vassell. And Darius Vassell is probably a very, very unique player in, in so far as he probably did better for England. When he played for England, he scored mm. a few goals that he did well. Then he did for his club. It's normally the other way around. And really, at that time, the way England played, mm, being very systematic in that I had to stay on the left wing, I couldn't come in field, we didn't have lots of short passes. So the way England played at that time probably didn't suit me. So myself, Chris Waddle, Glenn Huddle for me is the greatest, most technical player England ever had. Yeah. He was incredible. But he never had many caps for England well, and he wasn't appreciated. Better than Gaza? I, would, I mean, technically, I mean, we used to watch Glenn, Brian Robson, myself, we used to sit down and watch Glenn after training, doing things with the ball that English players never did. He was just technically superb. And if he was playing now, he would be an unbelievable player, Glenn.